I know what you're thinking. There's not enough wrestling in the world. Well, don't worry. Putty and I are going to fix that for you. Ain't that right, Putty? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why they're disappointed about the wrestling classic. What? I just noticed that. One second. Oh, it was a B minus. Shit, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. See, the disappointment of the wrestling classic is bringing our locker room down. Oh, I see. Mm. That That's is disappointing. Sadness. So this week we're gonna we're gonna flip the script, all right? We're we're gonna flip the script and we're gonna be booking the main event. We're, we're gonna book the way I usually book these things. We're gonna book the matches first and the angles later, okay? And then the penis is third. So what's our main event? Wait, wait. You said the matches first. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm thinking. I'm for thinking the... Nakamura versus Ibushi. Or maybe we build, we build to invasion attack with. What about a tag team match? What about Nakamura and Okada versus Bullet Club? Do Chaos Bullet Club stuff? Would you Would you like to hear what I, my ideas? Does it involve Nakamura? No. Yeah. If you don't have the King of Strong Style in your in your idea, then I don't really know how to help you. I was thinking we could bring me Nakamura, Sh oh, God. <laughs> Shinsuke. Buddy is trying to achieve his goal of making this episode even longer <laughs> than the last one. He's succeeding. So Dino, fucking Ambrosi. Okay, so I was thinking we could bring Mean Gene Catley into it. You mean me, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, do you like that idea? I mean, he can work a match. There you go. It just depends who you put him against. The crotch ringer. Just okay. Kidding. No, and that's, is that a real person? <laughs> is that a real person? I, I, I didn't. Okay. No? You don't, that's fine. We don't have no, no, that's <laughs> fine. I just I didn't. I, look. <laughs> I didn't know for sure it was the crotch ringer. <laughs> well, you don't know his nicknames. <laughs> I did not know that was his nickname. It isn't his nickname. <laughs> Good. Good. So what's our main event? Oh, can I hear? I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh, I'm, I can hear you now. Okay. Um, I'm thinking, like I said, I, I, I wouldn't mind having Mean Gene Catley in it, though. But, I mean, do you think he's relevant still? He... <clears throat> he's been out of the title picture for a while. He just lost a feud against the mid card champion. Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't have him in it then. I mean, he's over. He is over. I I, I mean, for a for a TV uh, for a, a television main event, he's certainly relevant. But you have to put him against the right opponent. Who would you recommend? Fro. Like honestly, like that's probably the guy that will get the best match out of him. Okay. I feel like Fro is just in every single match. He's freaking over. <laughs> like, what can I say? <laughs> he's he's the star of the show. True. I, we don't have to put him against Fro. We can put him against Animal. No, can't fight that logic. He is the star. Fro's going to get out of the main event, brother. He's going to move over for other stars. <laughs> Let me have a look at Fro's win-loss ratio over the last two years. With MEW. No, not Warrior Engine. <laughs> okay, in 2017, so far, he's won six times and lost once. Last year, he won 37 times and lost zero times. Shit. The year before that, he won 21 times, drew, drew once, and then lost once. <laughs> the year before that, he won 12 times and lost once. And then the first year with the company, he lost twice and won three times. So, the entire time he's been with MAW... He's had five losses. My And God. almost 80 wins. <laughs> He's like The Undertaker. <laughs> He's not like The Undertaker. Undertaker put bitches over. This kid is John Cena. <laughs> That's true. This kid would put someone over, too. Like, he's not. it's not like I book him to go over because he complains. I just book him to go over because he's a freaking star. Like, what else can you, can you, can you argue with that 99? No. <laughs> can anyone argue with that 99? No? No? 
Is anybody else on the roster put on a 99? Yes, Greg. But other than that, <laughs> other than Greg, who was in the match against Fro. So I'm assuming we're giving this the full 60 minutes. The full 60 minutes? <laughs> That would be epic. It like, happened on it happened on Lucha Underground in real life the other day. It was a sixty minute ma Iron Man match on their sixty minute show. <laughs> it was called One Night One Show, uh, either One Night One Match or One Show One Match. They're like, "Hey kids, so we were thinking, why waste money on all this promos <laughs> when well, we could just get in the match?" <laughs> it was awesome. It was a good match. Okay, <laughs> they've done it three times now. I think. They did it with a big tournament match. They did it with uh, a buried live match, and they did it with the Iron Man match. So I'm assuming we're giving this the full ninety minutes. We're gonna go into overtime for it. No, I'm thinking. Uh, well, we could make it like twenty minutes. I'm thinking more like ten. Ten? Yeah, makes sense. It's about a main event level match. We could make it. We can make it sixteen if we wanted to, because that means we could slow build it a little bit. Okay, let's make it 16 slow build. Okay. Or are we going to put the title on? Or 60 minutes, no total non-stop action. You mean TNA, right? No. <laughs> are we going to bring in Hulk Hogan? Yep. Um, yeah, okay. All right, so 60 minutes, for sure. Open, all-out <laughs> match. Decisive. Call in the ring. Uh, yep. And... Let's let's and save. Let's this save. may be the hardest match. And let's run. And let's run the show. Let's Ooh. Ooh. Oh Ooh. shit! Ugh. So Froshure was barely able to complete the match because due to exhaustion. <laughs> Marshall Peterson did some good work at ringside. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. And the show gets. Oh, Fro needs shorter matches. Uh, mean Gene needs shorter matches. The f the show gets an eleven F. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the worst show in Ultimate Warrior's history. By a mile. <laughs> okay, so let's not do that. What if we slow builded it for an hour? You you wanna see what would happen? Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh! A you 72! Know? Oh, these two, man, they I mean slow build an hour. Just and once Rocking again, Marshall it. Peterson did some good work at ringside. It's not a bad grade, up from last time. Let's keep tinkering with it. Let's keep tinkering with it. Or we could actually start planning the show. I'm trying to plan the best main event possible. Okay. Isn't that kind of cheating? Yeah, yes. I've never done this. Be well, I've done this before on other saves. I haven't done this with this one yet. Probably should I see this on the show, to be fair. Why? I want to I see. For the spirit of a let's play. I want to see what the uh, what the best possible show would be. Once again, that is like against the spirit of the left play. I feel. No, that's like how you should play C T E W. Yeah, but not the point is like you set it up beforehand and you deal with the results. If it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, it's good. You deal with it. Yeah, but there sometimes you can do some experiments. I'm sorry. I'm I'm harshing your spirit. You are. I'm sorry. I just want to see. I'm I'm in, I'm curious. I'm sure the audience is too. You just want a short. You just want a, You just want a short episode. No. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shorter. <laughs> Look, I want to test something. I'm intrigued. Celebration ceremony. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got fooled. <laughs> Just want to test one more thing. What happened to your face when you when you got the ninety nine match? <laughs> it went pretty. It got pretty ridiculous. God, this match just won't go over. Maybe we should scrap this match. It's still. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be so disappointed if it came out with that at the end of the night, but still, I'm just a little surprised that it's not doing as well as I would expect it to. It's not doing too far. Actually, that might be the reason. The world title does a lot for it. That's not that's the women's world title. <laughs> the men's, please. So we put all the titles up for it. <laughs> <laughs> And then Fro sure has a 20 minute celebration ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they'll like 
it too. <laughs> yeah, I bet they will as well. All right, that's better. A hundred for the twenty-minute <laughs> celebration <laughs> ceremony for Pro Shore. Um, they freaking love it. You can just have the whole show. You just have a show called the Pro Shore <laughs> show, show, and it's basically just him like talking to the crowd for an hour. He's like, "So, guys, what's up?" <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah." You know, there are some, there are some promotions that. Hmm, that's interesting. There are some promotions where. The entire show is just angles. There's no matches. I'm sure they do great. <laughs> Let me have a look. No, you have to have at least... No, wait, yeah, you can literally do an all-angle show. Oh, Sam Keith doesn't like it, though. <laughs> Sam Keith is very annoyed at this. He's like, we're oh, the wrestling. We must conserve all of the wrestling, damn it. I actually <clears> said it would alienate customers because it's too great of a change. Oh, we can make 30% matches. Whoa. This is the fro ho oh, 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 show. This is the fro ho oh, oh, ho oh, show. No? No? You ready to start actually booking the show? Yes! Okay. <laughs> what are we doing for the main event? Or do you want to scrap this main event? Do you want to do a tag team main event player? Um, I'm thinking we do a female main event now. Now that I thought about it. Okay. We A tag team match would probably be the best option for that one. Really? Okay, let's do it. All right, it might not do fantastically well, but it could do well. I'm, hmm. I'm thinking then we turn Bell Bryden heel and have her go up against the champ in, in the main event. Holy shit! Okay, let's do it. Okay. But do we want to? Do we want to give someone just a title shot, just randomly out of nowhere? Is there any way to get her to a reasonable position where she could actually challenge for the championship by the end of the night? What do you mean by that? Well, like, is there any way to, through angles, to get her... Could we do, like, a gauntlet thing where she has to go through three other women in three other matches to earn this shot? Who, Br Brooke Tyler does? No, Brooke Tyler's the champ. Oh. Belle Brighton. And Brooke Tyler's a face, I'm guessing? And so is Bell Brighton right now. You could have her side with Sam Keith. And be like, hey, I want a title shot. And he's like, fine, but you must crush all of my enemies. That's a good idea. Okay. He doesn't really have many enemies in the women's division, though. We'll make well, up fake enemies. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. We could have her just go up against guys. Whoa. Really? Well, yeah. Bell Bryden is, has won the Sam Keith Classic in the past, the tag team title, that tournament she teamed with for sure. Okay, let's have her go up against guys. Okay, I can't really think of many of Sam Keith's enemies, though, except for Fro. I don't think we really want Bell going over Fro. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. Maybe we could just have, maybe it won't be his enemies. Maybe, maybe, maybe he'll say, maybe it'll be a sort of like a Star Wars thing, where, where the Emperor asks Vader to, like, prove himself <laughs> by, by just burying three people. Okay, I've got a better idea for her opponent, then. The person that's going to turn. Fuyoko Higa! Miss Perfection! Wait, so Cause... she's going to turn heel? Yeah, because she's uh, she could be a more pem permanent member of the C the Keith succession because as you can see she's a very good heel. Ah, and very good baby face. She is a, she is a baby face. Right she's now. good at everything. Yeah, I know. She's also a bitch. Whoa. She's egotistical, extremely selfish, extremely ruthless, extremely pessimistic, extremely manipulative, driven, and liberal. Ugh. Everything I hate in a woman. <laughs> 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 mm, there you go <laughs> there you go question is does she have the stamina levels damn right she does yeah she really does <laughs> she's almost as good as El Mitico. so 
so we're gonna put up against heels to start with then she turns then she turns in the middle of it by beating the shit out of one of them yes that's a good idea right then for Yuku Higa versus Halcat Hernandez I'm still thinking we have two girls in a bucket of, of, of butter fighting. Okay. Explain to me how that would go down and what benefit that would have on the show as a whole. Uh, okay, so, so we, have a, we have a bucket of butter. Um, that, that's as far as I've gotten so far with the idea. I, I, think, we, I think we throw the bucket of bu butter onto the stage. I mean, not onto the stage. Onto the ring. In the ring. <laughs> Uh, so the ring's really buttery, slimy, slippery, you know, hard to, hard to get a footing on. And then we just throw two half-naked women in and have them fight for half an hour. How naked are you thinking? Half-naked. So no, no, no bra. Mm-hmm. And, and actually full naked. Just completely. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this getting over? Um, it doesn't really matter. It's more about the nudity and the butter and all that. Mm -hmm. And like who does this it? benefit? I think it benefits the audience the most. <laughs> and who's going to explain this to National Pride TV? That's a good idea. Um, <laughs> we'll have Marshall Peterson explain it. <laughs> oh, shucks! I don't know what happened! Oh, <laughs> uh, there was a bucket of a butter and, and all of a sudden the girls took their tops off and we couldn't stop filming it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Bell. Fuck you, Bell. What did Bell do? Hey, she does not want a job to Fuyuko Higa. That bitch. So I'm gonna make her. <laughs> so we've got a new star of the show. <laughs> I wonder what her name is. Yuko Higa. <laughs> He got for Yuko san! This entire show is about her. <laughs> yup. I hope she speaks English these days. You really? Yeah, she does. We do not know. We we don't have really time for a men's match. Well, no, we don't. <laughs> That's not happening on this show. I'm gonna have to pay a lot of people at the end of this to be happy about this. How many more minutes do we have left? 23. Okay. We could put a men's match in here. How about the same idea with the butter, except it's a men's match. Okay. It's a 6v6. I like that idea, actually, of being a 6v6. That's a 3v3. Oh, 6v6. I think I'm in six-man tag. <laughs> no, I don't think there is a 6v6. There's a 5v5. There we go. 5v5. Okay, 3v3. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, like, the only idea I have is, is that they fight in butter. <laughs> and who do you want them to fight? How about we have them... Is there a... Is, do you have, like, a team of three people that they can fight? No, the... Well, not... Like a group of friends... Not baby faces. Heels, then yes, they could probably fight Greg Gage in the Ring Generals, but or Casey Valentine in the Ring Generals. But unfortunately, faces no. Okay. The, uh, the closest thing we have to a face faction is All Shucks Incorporated. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Cheetah Boy, Honolulu Joseph. For sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that actually makes sense. Those two are good friends, and they're managed by you. Yeah, that's true. They are All Shucks Inc. What's Cheetah Boy doing there then? Cheetah Boy is part of the Modern Dragon team tag team. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. This is gonna be a weird Include show. Include butter. Or this young man pins Cheetah Boy. Fro sure most likely complains. But you're gonna have the heels win? Oh yeah. Why wouldn't I? Come on! Crazy show. Why wouldn't I have the heels win? It's Team Chaos. I suppose. Plus the face, uh, the face wins in the end. So, there, wait, what? Brooke Tyler. Face. Oh, Brooke Tyler beats Fioko Huga. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fioko Higa after that whole thing. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> really? She's not ready. We're wasting all that time for a saga and she doesn't win at the end? <laughs> Wrestling is not always have a happy ending. Which, <laughs> even though she turns heel by the end of it. <laughs> so we shouldn't be rooting for her anyway. This is very confusing. <laughs> this is WCW shit right now. <laughs> Look, bro. We're gonna build her up all episode and then swerve. She loses. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did ya? <laughs> Just like David Arquette winning the the world championship. Uh, so for sure, cuts a promo on Ernest Youngman. Yeah, you okay with this? Yep. Start the show, and then it's a backstage segment. Hype, backstage segment with Sam Keith and Fuyoko Higa. And then in, hmm, we've got too many matches. What? We, well, we've got too much match time. We're supposed to have around 60% and we're currently at 84% matches. So what I could do is reduce the time on this one down to six minutes. I don't care if freaking Hellcat, actually I probably do. Uh, we can increase this to... No, we'll check another backstage segment in there. I'm expecting you to come up with a story for these backstage segments while we're actually running the show, by the way. <laughs> I expect you to know exactly what these guys are saying. Okay? Okay. <laughs> We still need less match time, so I guess this match is getting cut down to six minutes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> cut job. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens in real wrestling, I guess. We're currently still at 670. <laughs> this match is getting down to four minutes. <laughs> people are going to hate it. I think people are going to love this show. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It's going to be terrible. It's not. I feel like at the end you're gonna you're gonna just be like, just kidding, that was a fake show. <laughs> oh no. I'm running this shit, brother. Alright. We're within limits, man. Oh god. <laughs> you seem scared. Very. You should be. <laughs> Sorry. Yuko Higa! Oh Yuko Higa san! Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yuko Higa! Higa for Yuko san! Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! Like sure the Ascension. Japanese? <laughs> Japanese? <laughs> what? I was not aware we were doing Japanese. <laughs> Alright, you ready to run the show? I'm ready to run the show. You keep saving, it makes me worried. <laughs> I do it for every risky show. Alright, you remember, you need to be making up stories for these segments. Okay, we'll try. Okay, so an angle featuring Frosher and Ernest Youngman. You see, what happens is, Frosher walks up to Ernest Youngman and says, Hey man, I know we had a crazy match last, last show, but I say we all just make it water under the bridge, brother. And Ernest Youngman says, You think I'm gonna... God, I gotta get my Ernest Youngman voice on. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Let me think. How did it go again? Yeah, you you were on the right track, I think. You Very think, quiet. You you think I'm gonna let it all water under the bridge like we're some sort of hogs in a barn and we're covered in butter and stuff? <laughs> Speaking of butter, I challenge you to a butter match later in the show. Fro says, "Yo, no, I'm gonna bring my butter pals," and that's the segment. Okay then. An angle, Jesus Christ, featuring Sam Keith and Fioko, Fioko Higa. Hey, man, uh, this is Fioko Higa. <laughs> hey, man, uh, I, I, I don't like the way my career is going. I, I don't know. I just don't think I've been in enough matches. I, I, I want you to give me a shot. <laughs> in enough matches. 
<laughs> I like how ironic this is because of what we're doing later. I know. I, I, I want a shot at the women's championship. Sam Keith. Sam Keith, he puts his hand on his on his chin. He goes, hmm. He gives a thinking face, and he's like, I, 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 think, I, I think you got a point, Yuko. I think you got a point, Sega. Okay, what we're going to do here. Is we're gonna have you go up against four people tonight. <laughs> the first three randomly assigned, just people I think I want to beat down. And the fourth person, well, that's gonna be the women's champion. And if you beat her, you're gonna be the women's champion. Fuko smiles and says thanks, and goes <laughs> off. She has yet to be corrupted. <laughs> You ready for the first match? She can't be corrupted there because she's still a face in yeah. the first match. Yeah. You ready? You ready? Yep. Oh my god! That? She is terrible! Wow. This bodes well. <laughs> that <laughs> bodes well! But because this was a really great match from a terrible worker. Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you said what? she did terrible. No, she is pretty bad. I mean, she's a pretty good worker, but she's not over at all. And... And that's a good rating. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You ready to move on? Yep. Oh my god, an angle featuring Sam Keith and Fioko Higa. Uh, Fioko's getting over, man. <laughs> yep, okay, here we go. Hey, hey, hey boss. Wait, when did she turn heel? Uh, next match. Okay. Hey boss, uh, that, that match was nice, but could you just give me a straight shot at the title? I don't want to be strung along like this. Sam Keith says, hey, I'm the owner of this company, and you do what I say. Besides, what are you going to do, you little baby face? You can't stand up for yourself. You're just a child. So get back in line and do what I want you to do, bitch. Well, she is the youngest mem member of the women's roster. So, so Fukuhiga stomps off with this angry looking face and she's she's clenching her fists and she walks onto the stage and she's gonna show Sam Keith what she thinks about him now. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Wow. <laughs> I mean, these two are really good, but it's still like weird to see it doing so well. <laughs> this was a really short match. Wasn't that well, only four minutes? No that, that the four minute one was the first one. Oh god that did well for a four minute match. Shit, she's got... Oh, no, mate, I thought she had 100 momentum. Well, the turn was a complete success, apparently. Excellent! Well, she I beat the ever-loving shit out of Hell Hernandez in six minutes. <laughs> that is a hard thing to do. <laughs> she busted I think, her open. I think she Randy... chucked her into the barricade. She punted her in the head. She brought out the light tube. She jumped on the scaffolding. She took a swanton bomb. She was busted open herself so that she could get some more blood on her. It Randy, was Randy Orton would be impressed by that quickly yeah. beating someone to the shit. Yeah, for someone, yeah. The, the worst, like the only thing she could have done better is grabbing Hellcat's dad out of the crowd and punting her in the, butting him in the head. There you go. <laughs> All right, now we got the butter match. You ready for the butter match? I'm ready for the butter match. <laughs> 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 this might be the worst throw shore match of the year. <laughs> Very good action. Some good action. But not, not much, much in the way. Him. Team Chaos defeated Cheetah Boy, Hollow Joseph, and Froshore by pinfall. Uh, <sighs> Shall we move on? Yes. Let's forget I think about this. The, I think this is the semi main event coming up. Let's forget about the butter match. Whoa! These two are great. I don't think the main event is going to do as well as this. <laughs> you don't think so? Maybe. Yoko Higa beats the crap out of Bell Butt Bryden. Not as bad as, as Hellcat. But... Even though the match was longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Belle Bryden's a better worker. Hmm, that's true. She can survive longer. In fact, the fact that she was beaten is questionable. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, snap! An angle featuring Yuko Higa and Brooke Tyler. Brooke Tyler walks up. Hey, no, I... Brooke Tyler actually isn't in the promo. She's Fuyuko's just cutting one a promo on her. Uh, uh, so she's just, like, sitting on the mic? Yeah, basically. So, I... The match is about to start. I know what you're thinking. Little baby face coming up wants a shot at the title. Well, guess what? I'm not a baby face no more. I'm here 
My name's Fioko Higa, and I'm a ball-busting badass. I'm gonna show you all what it means to be the women's champion of M-A-W. I'm so high. I'm gonna take this championship and raise it to the prestige that it should be at. It's not at 100 yet, is it? It's at 97. I'm gonna make it even better. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the third most prestigious women's title now, on the planet. Are you guys? I hope you Brooke Tyler fans are ready to have your hearts broken, just like Brooke Tyler's ready to have her face broken. Okay, after all the build, Fuyuka Higa's big shot, the big moment. Yeah! Whoa, that's a good match. For a TV show, it's a damn good match. <laughs> do you want to do you wanna read? Oh, sure. In a bout <laughs> that featured great action and a good crowd, Brooke Tyler defeated Fuyuka Higa! Fuyuka Higa-san! 10 minutes and 12 seconds by submission with a Brooke break her that's funny because you know fuko said she was gonna break her face and she broke, <laughs> she broke tyler makes defense number two of her ma women's world title the only penalizing things were fuko being slightly tired oh god for you uh, no kidding come on <laughs> come on now for you come on you only were in four <laughs> matches one of which you beat someone half to death in six minutes <laughs> to be fair she only had like what like, like 20 minutes of wrestling? No, ha half an hour of wrestling on the show. Yeah. Like, come on, she should be able to go 30 minutes with an A-star. Sadamana. Okay, I guess I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to see what the show grade was? Yeah. Hey! The exact same rating as the final of the main event. Indeed. Cause, probably because the show was basically carried by the main event. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole God show was it. about the main event. This was a really well booked show from a storyline perspective. I think so. How did you like my angle cutting? It was okay. It was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you didn't ruin the characters. So that's all I can say. I tried to make Fuyuku Higa, you know, the, the, I tried to make the heel turn legitimate. Mm -hmm. And I think I did. I made it seem well, like she was tired of being. Do you think it was a good heel turn? Like she was tired of being pushed around, so she became like a, a bitch? I, I do, I, I think in a, in a promotion like this, with a heel turn like that, a lot of the story behind the heel turn would have been told in the ring. So that's why it was a little difficult. But in terms of, like, you could, you did the best you could. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. She's kind of more over. She, well, she's four points more over than when we started. Oh, that's pretty good. I wonder if Brooke's a little more over since she beat the girl that got over. Nope, Brooke's still the same. She always has been. Holy shit, though. How are you getting so over in the Mid-South? I think she's working for Queens of American Wrestling over there. Look at how many women's titles she owns. She's got our women's title. She's got uh, Wrestling Premier League's women's title. And she's got Queens of American Wrestling's world title. Jesus Christ. She's got a and world title? Uh, it's, a, it's a women's only promotion. Wow. She has got a very prestigious lot. And she's freaking 23. She's <laughs> I was the first one to give her a title. That's... She's, she's got a good career. Yeah. Hell of a good career if someone like North of the Border picks her up or USPW. Our women's world title is now at 98. There you go. We rose it again. Indeed. We've only ever had five champions. Bell Bryden, Hellcat Hernandez, Brooke Tyler, Devil Car Karubi, and Brooke Tyler again. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed that. That was quite fun. Good. Good. It, it went better than I thought it was going to be. Really? Really? One person... In four matches in a show, yeah. She's really good, though. I guess, yeah. <laughs> like, like she's really good. Anyway, the, like heel, a... the heel turn worked out. Do you want me to show? I want to show you her stats a second. She has B's to C minuses in technical skills, a C plus brawling skills. Her charisma is a B. Her star quality is a ninety two. She has n nothing lower than a B in her performance stats. Wow. Her physical stats are amazing. She's great at playing both of those, and she's frickin' nicknamed Miss Perfection. <laughs> wow. Yeah. From her mentor. That isn't sarcasm. <laughs> it's, simply a, it's simply an indication of how good she is. <laughs> Did you write that? No. Oh. That was in the game. Shit. I know. Fuko yeah. Higa! Higa-son!
Higasun Senpai Kun. Higa! Okay, anyway. Um... Higasun Senpai Kun. Go for you, son. <laughs> Go for you, son. <laughs> Go for. I love that you were like, we're speaking Japanese. <laughs> uh, what is this Japanese you say? <laughs> what is this Japanese you speak of? I do not know this Japanese. So, uh, all together, I think this is building up quite well. What is it building up to? We have no continuity between shows. <laughs> it was the Fro Shore show last week. It was Fuyuka show this week. Like, next week it's probably going to be Golf Warrior show. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Golf Warrior, and I am the best in the world. Holy shit, Ernest Youngman just straight up walked out of a promotion. I guess he was sick of working in Puerto Rico. There you go. <laughs> I don't blame him <laughs> at all. And holy shit, that Fuyuka Higa show got the highest rating in, in Ultimate Warrior's history. Um, it was up a whole, like, seven seventy viewers this week. One second, let me work this out. This is Let's Play Calculator. Can I see the calculation? Yes. They can't see Audacity, right? No, I I, I, I um crop it. Oh. You you've seen me crop. You've seen the videos. <laughs> You're right. 8,250 people were watching. There were more people in the stadium. <laughs> wow. Than, than were watching on TV. Still, though. That's decent. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. We, we are still making television revenue. There you go. So, yeah, I did negotiate properly. Money. Which is good. By the way, I don't know if you want to do this while you're here, but we can actually control merchandise. We can actually actually put out specific merchandise for people. So, for example, if I wanted to put out a Fro Shore t-shirt. I got it. Let's put out a Hyuku... Let's put out a, um... Um, a Fuku Higa shirt that says, I ain't your bitch. And how many of them do we want to produce? Uh, let's, let's make it, um, medium. Okay. Any, anybody else you want to do merchandise for? Uh, let's put out a Marshall t Peterson t-shirt that says, please stop throwing trash at me. <laughs> and we'll make it very low volume. <laughs> He'll be wearing it to the ring. Yes. Every time he comes out. <laughs> Any anyone else you want to put some t-shirts on? Um, how about a Sam Keith t-shirt that I've says, fight for me? <laughs> <laughs> You're really into this. And a poster of him naked. Actually, if we're doing stuff for Frosher, we should just do everything. I tried that before. Frosher sure toys, so. Frosher foam hands, <laughs> we Frosher didn't... caps. Merchandising, merchandising, merchandising. It didn't, it didn't sell Have so well. Have you seen well, Spaceballs? So <laughs> yes, but I haven't seen it in ages. Oh, man. Do you remember when he, when, when, <laughs> yeah. when, yeah, when, what's his name? Yeah. Uh, yogurt. Yeah. Yogurt does the merchandising stuff. Is there anybody else who want to put t-shirts on? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 what's his name? Oh, he's he's with Robbie Wright. Douche Deadline, Ernest Youngman? Yes, a Douche Deadline t-shirt that says, I'm not as drunk as you think I am. <laughs> how, much, how much of them do we want to produce? Oh, and a trucker hat. <laughs> how much do we want to produce? Uh, probably low. Not, not, not very not low. Not very low? Really? No, just low. I, I think okay. that could sell. <laughs> How over is he nowadays? He's just... He does not get over. He just refuses to get over. What about Ernest? Do you want to put out anything for Ernest? How about, uh... I take this fight to the streets, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to put a t-shirt on? How about a foam hand? Wait, what about Miscellaneous? We'll sell his sunglasses. Yes, good idea. Good idea. Very, yeah, limited edition. Robbie Wright, do you want to sell anything for Robbie Wright? Since we sell him for his teammates. Yeah, let's make it a, a Robbie Wright uh, poster. 
I, I'm imagining this is just a Team Chaos poster. <laughs> okay. I'm excited to see how much we sell in rep. How much did you sell in merchandise last month? Okay, I can show you that. It's very fluctual. It, it's very fluctuating, though. But uh, we sold 7,500 last month. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's less than we're making on our TV revenue, but <laughs> it's okay. It's decent, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a up. Check out the rest of the series. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave any feedback you have in the comments. And check out Marshall's channel. Or don't. Because all the all the important stuff that he does is, is right here. That's so, <laughs> in the next episode, we are going to see a Bruce the Giant sighting. I, I guarantee you that. Oh, I got a perfect idea. What about Bruce the Giant and Golf Warrior just beating the ever loving fuck out of each other? I was thinking, yeah, Golf Warrior <laughs> should definitely be in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he should ah, take a golf club and beat him over the head with it. Yeah, we're gonna do something with Golf the Warrior. Uh, golf the Warrior. <laughs> Can we have him use a golf club? Yes. <laughs> also, don't be surprised if next show there's a bit of a radioactive snake biting. <laughs> and don't be surprised if Fuyuku Higa, after her monster push, is no longer on screen. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever again. I will add her to the Keith succession, though. Oh, uh, what's that? It's the Matthew Keith stable. Think the authority. Ah. Uh. There's a shit ton of people in this stable. <laughs> Holy shit. I wait, 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 wait. According to what I threw for those promos, she's actually a rebel against the authority. She's a rebel heel. I... I, th I thought Matthew Keith manipulated her into beating up people he wanted to beat up. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the longest reigning stable in the history of the company. Is it popular? Yeah, it's decently over. Team Chaos is creeping up on them, though. So. Aw, shucks. And all shucks yeah. is the most over one. Yeah. Aw, shucks. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will speak to you guys next episode. Say goodbye, Marshall. Bye!